Hiya, Sharini Matala here. I work for Vodafone as a global account manager. I chose to do the level seven senior sales leadership apprenticeship um, as part of my development. At that time, I was still a client sales manager and to me, it was really important to um, plan for my future. I wanted to do sales leadership. I want to manage people, but be a successful leader that people actually choose to follow. I felt like this would have been perfect to equip me and prepare me and also put me in a space where I can actually apply my learning um, and begin leading even before having officially a team. And I had the support of management to, to approve such an experience for me. And it did exactly that. Um, and since then, I did loads of sessions with my team and my virtual team learned through my leadership learnings and training. And then I managed to also get promoted to another band halfway through the apprenticeship. I became a global account manager, becoming one of the senior leaders and account managers, growing my team, my responsibilities, my target. So it really helped shape the future. To me, the module that um, I really enjoyed and I think have continued to want to pursue this area is around coaching. That was really exciting. Um, I had always been so familiar with what mentoring is. I heard the word coaching, but I never really understood it. That, so that, that I truly enjoyed that. Even in my final project, I still made it centered around coaching. And I think coaching was great because, not just because I understood what coaching is, but I used the skills that came out of coaching to allow me to be a better leader. For example, being a better listener, being more curious with the questions I ask. Um, and taking time out to reflect and being completely switched off in conversations. So um, that was my favourite for sure. Uh, this is a hard question, but I would say the whole experience. It's like doing something beyond the day job to develop you and know that, that your business is investing in you, you're growing, you're reflecting so much more, you're learning. Um, it was really enriching from that perspective and also getting to meet other people in different parts of their journey and learning from them and their experiences. And my favourite was always like project at the end because the project had another challenge and I could apply my learnings, do things where I can lead a team meeting, present or drive new changes within my organisation. And it was like that, my, my, that masters of the apprenticeship was my green card to change things also within my organization. Yeah, I think the biggest barrier would be probably time. Um, I have a sales job, I have a target to achieve, I have the business as usual, and I wanted to make sure I have time to complete the apprenticeship and I knew I wanted to do it properly. Everything that I do, I wanna make sure I complete it till the end and I don't wanna overpromise anything. So to me, it was making sure I can make time um, at work and also beyond work, what that will impact in my personal life as well. But I think it was worth it at the end um, and having supportive managers, I think was, was the most important in understanding your journey and giving you the time, giving you the, the opportunity to, okay, how can this apprenticeship be so well applied to my day job that everyone benefits as well? So that addressed my main concern. I think um, it felt surreal. I felt very proud. It was like, oh, the outcome has been achieved. It actually feels real now. Um, and it was nice for us as a cohort to all experience the same thing. And, um, and yeah, we've reached the end goal. So it was very, very rewarding. And it was great to see my family also proud. Um, and I look forward to seeing how that this, this qualification will shape my career moving forward. Um, I think it's had quite an impact on my career in terms of myself. I take more time to reflect. I, like I said, halfway through, I managed to move forward, be bold and apply for a job in another band and then go for a global account manager role uh, and, can, and have the credibility and brand in the role while still also having, having to study. So that was amazing. Also, um, having the, being known as that person who is doing this apprenticeship and who's got all these theories that she's learned and I can share this and share knowledge with other people within the organisation, it helped to really create a good perception of me in my new team, um, especially that they, they hadn't worked with me before. So it really helped build my credibility within Vodafone. As an organisation, I think Vodafone have been super supportive in the projects I've launched at the end of every module, and it's had good results within our team. We launched a, a coaching initiative, we did coaching training together, and as a team, 
that was fostered and everyone was so open with me and it drove some really good conversations within our team. So I would say, yeah, it was brilliant. And I look forward to um, seeing how else it shapes my team and beyond. I would describe it as an opportunity to grow. Um, and you'll be surprised that you're not just growing career-wise and professionally, but even personally. Um, your confidence, your communication, your listening, even people at home, how you speak to them and how you listen to them, how you give them time. I think there's so many things that are transferable. It does take a lot of work, but it is worth it, um, especially if you are um, aiming to be that future leader that can give back um, and have people who choose to follow you um, and make a difference within your organisation and beyond.